Good morning. This morning I'm going to talk to you about something you're all familiar with when you were children and those of you who are children probably have one of these. It's a crayon box and children look forward to a brand new box of unbroken crayons that's so wonderful to open it up and see all the colors but suppose i had and if i asked you to color a picture on this nice clean piece of paper you would be able to do it with a box of crayons if i said draw a picture of a landscape with a rainbow you could do it Look at all the crayon colors you've got to do it with. But suppose I only gave you one. Now, boys and girls, you have probably heard your teachers tell you the way to remember the colors of the rainbow is Roy G. Biv. For you adults that don't know what Roy G. Biv is, it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Those are the colors of the rainbow. Suppose I only give you one crayon. Let's see what that would look like. Let's start with Roy, red. That's what the picture would look like. Oh dear, how about well, I put two together. I put orange and yellow together. How's that? Aren't these pretty pictures? No? Well, how about, gee, green? Here's what that picture would look like. How about the B, blue? That's what that picture would look like. Hmm. Indigo? How about violet? These aren't very pretty pictures, are they? There's other colors in my crayon box. I could color with brown and make a tree trunk. I could color with black and make a rock. You notice there's one color I particularly left off? Because if I colored with white, it would still look just like this. I used to tell my students, white is a color that looks best when you mix it with other colors. It can, if you mix it with red, you get pink. If you mix it with brown, you get tan. If you mix it with black, you get gray. White works best if you mix it with other colors. Let's see what happens if I put them all together. Putting all the colors together, now I apologize for not being a very good artist, but putting all the colors together gives me a rainbow, a blue sky, a yellow and orange sun, red flowers with indigo centers and green leaves, a tree with leaves. That makes a much better picture than one color at a time, doesn't it? That's because we need all colors in God's world to make God's beautiful pictures outside. And we need all colors of people to make God's wonderful world that he created for all people. And he created all people, all different colors, to work together and live together in harmony. And we could take a lesson from my crayon box. Because all those colors sit together in that box in harmony and make beautiful pictures. And if you took one of those crayons out, it wouldn't be as complete and the picture wouldn't be as pretty and you can't do it with make a beautiful picture with just one color many years ago i saw 
a little video of a story and I've looked for it and looked for it and it's out of print and out of everything. But it was with two sock puppets. Now, you know what a sock is and you know when you put it over your hand, you make a sock puppet. And these two puppets, one on each hand, got along very well until they figured out that one of them was a spotted sock and the other one was a striped sock. And then they started fighting with each other because they said only stripes are good, only spots are good, and they tried to build a wall between themselves and they tried to keep the other out and they were very unhappy because they were very lonely, but they couldn't, a striped sock couldn't associate with a spotted sock and a spotted sock couldn't associate with a striped sock until they tried to figure out where they came from and they traveled up the arm. <coughs> Excuse me. And discovered that they were both attached to the same person. And if we examine ourselves, we discover that no matter what color the outside of us may be, whether we're spotted or striped, or what other color, we are all created by the same God, by the same loving God. So we need to work together.